get data or things and try to organize them to, to figure stuff out about them. And the four things we're talking about today will be um, the mean, breaking down so you have one. The mean, the median, the mode, and the one that doesn't start with an S or an S the range. And this will be for review because obviously you might not remember the other ones. Uh, the first thing really you're supposed to do when you do measures of central, central tendency is to arrange them from least to greatest, just so that you can see them. Arrange from least to greatest. Okay, so that means you'll go and make this two, three, three, four, and seven. We we'll just change all those so that. The first one we don't really have to talk too much about because the word mean, when you see the word mean in math, doesn't mean that somebody is angry with you or nasty to you. The word mean in math is, everybody, what do we call that? So we've got a different word we use for it. It is the average. The mean is the same thing as its average. That's cool. We use that one a whole lot more than we use any of the other ones. And how do you find the average of something, Cabron? I've got these five numbers. How do I find their average? You want a blank there? Subtract. I think you're thinking range. Subtraction there. No closing? Right, you add them all together. And then you're going to divide by how many numbers you added together, which in this case is 5. Let's see what we have here. 5 and 8, 12 and 19. Is that really right? Yeah. Who puts 19 there? I think I'll divide by 5. Yeah, either way. 19 divided by 5, we'll make, a, we'll make a fraction out of it. Just because you're good with fractions now. What is that? 3 and 4 fifths? Yeah. Or 3.8 as our decimal? So the mean... It would be three and four fifths. Pretty close to four. How about the middle? Well, I mean, how about the median, which is the middle? middle? Sorry about that. Gave it all away. Which number is in the middle? And there again, you've got to count. You've got to know how many numbers we have. We have five numbers. The middle of five is going to be the number right here. We always hope we have an odd number, because an odd number is there's always a middle two. Okay? If you have an odd number, that middle number will have the same numbers on either side. If it's an even number, it gets a little more complicated. Uh, the middle number here is three. I don't know if they'll give you one with an even number. Did we talk about this? What if there was an eight here? What number would be in the middle now? If I had 2, 3, 3, 4, 7, and 8, there is no number in the middle because the middle is exactly right here between 3 and 4. If that happens, guess what you have to do? Oh, no, you have to do something. Alex? You add 3 and 4 together, and you get 7, which is middle. No, you add them together, but you divide by 2. You actually have to find okay. the average. But you could tell me what the what is the middle of 3 and 4. Three and a half. That would be what you get. If you add those together and divide by two, you'll get three and a half because that is the middle of those two numbers. So if we were lucky and there wasn't, there was an odd number, so we didn't have to worry about that. We hope that eight goes away. Uh, how about the mode? Kayleen Shellhammer, what's the mode? Yep, it's the number that appears the most. And in that set of data, what number is that? If no number repeats, it doesn't have a mode. If more than one do, it has a bunch of modes. And then the last one here, the range. Logan, how do I find the range? Um, you divide. Not quite divide. It's actually you subtract the small from the big. So 
So in this case, you would take 7, subtract 2, and you get 5. That is a range of that whole thing. I don't know if they ask you anything. Oh, it does say measures of energy. Measures of central tendency there. All right, here, let me give you one just for fun. Write these numbers down uh, 16, 2, 5, 7, 11, 13. 16, 2, 5, 7, 11, 13. I want you to tell me, we'll skip the average, we won't do the mean today. I want you to tell me the median, the mode, and the range of those numbers. Do that right now. See if you've got a firm grasp of reality. 16, 2, 5, 7, 11, 13. What's that? Oh, you'll, well, let's see if you can do it. Math is not always convenient. I mean the median, the mode, and the home on the range. Or the cooking on the range. All right, how about the median? What did we come up for the median? Madison? Nine. nine. How'd you get nine? Seven and Exactly. Because you know that there are one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. Right here is the middle of those. There is no number that's in the middle, so you have to take the two middle numbers. Add them together, which is 18, divided by 2, which is 9. So that is your median. Now the mode, that's interesting. What is the mode of that thing there? Katie? Not much. Very good. There is no mode. And the range, ladies and gentlemen? You're doing that, Brooke Kayla? 14. 14, because you subtract the big one from the small one. 